all this to get together. We have to acknowledge and understand that what happened in Orlando affects all of us. We are all victims of that terrible, terrible thing. Crime. This, I'm not sure if you know, this was the worst mass shooting to ever take place in this country. This was the worst. And we are all sad, I am sad, Francis and I are sad that so many people died. We are sad that it happened. I'm sad that this happened in my country. I'm sad that this happened to my fellow Americans. This is something that makes all of us victims. This terrible, terrible deed. And I want to express the grief and sorrow that every Pennsylvania feels. And I want to share the, the sympathy and the goals of Pennsylvanians for all the victims, their families and loved ones, all the people in Orlando of this dastardly deed. This was a hate crime. Make no bones about it. The people who died here died victims of a hate crime. They died at the hands of a terrorist who does not, did not reflect who all of us are as Americans. He did not reflect who we should be, who we strive to be every day. We cannot allow ourselves to be branded by the terrible act of this demented man. We are all better than that. And we are profoundly shamed by what he did. Pennsylvania is a place of welcome, it's a place of friendship. That's who we are. That's who we were since and have been since our founding. Let this sad occasion, that we're all here today to know, let this sad occasion affirm to the world this simple, simple and worthy truth. Hatred has no place in a civilized society, and it has no place in Pennsylvania. Thank you for inviting me to be with you on this sad day of remembrance, and thank you for letting all of us grieve together. Let's reaffirm our common humanity. Thank you very much.